Hi Cancer, welcome to your reading this month for July 2019 and happy birthday to those of you who have already celebrated your birthdays in June and also happy birthday to those of you that July is your birthday month and it's a very exciting time of the year um, for you Cancers. Um, Okay, I actually shuffled your cards and I already dealt them out. Just want to let you know this is for all Cancers with the moon sign, sun sign, or rising sign, or also for your Venus sign. So please look into other signs according to your chart to check out those readings as well because some of this might not resonate with everyone. But I do feel like the energy here is capturing a lot of you who have gone through a lot of struggles in the past. The reason why I say this is because we have the, the Nine of Wands here as your central energy for this reading. Um, it's, it's upright, so it's, it's definitely you're, you're definitely tired, tired, and you feel like you've been through a lot. And I feel like that has a lot to do with love because we do have the Amore card here, right, together with it. And you've had a lot of um, people letting you down. I feel that energy here. I do feel like you've been let down a lot in the past, especially by people that you love and people that you put your trust into. It's awful when you feel like that because it's hard to bring new people in because you set a wall up protecting yourself. And I, and I do feel like that is what's going on here with you cancers. Um, there are some of you still married and some of you singles. Um, I do see a, there's quite a few messages here for the single cancers this month. And I feel that you know, it's okay to let go of the past and to really focus on what brings you strength and the people around you that make you feel good about you. And that's important. You do have to, you do have to let go of the past. It's something that you hold on to that a lot because I feel like you're afraid to make the next step into the future. And there is somebody here from the past that hurts you. And, you know, maybe you thought they were really good for you, but they weren't. And, and you're all, you're coming to realize that now because you're standing in your, in your glory here. And this is you. This is definitely you just saying enough's enough. I'm standing up for myself and I'm going to, be happy and I feel like this month for you guys you're going to be focusing on bettering yourselves and the reason why I say that is because we do have the nine of pentacles here and the sun these are both like your current position and even though you're feeling this like sense of exhaustedness like where you're just tired of being treated the way you've been treated by people who you care about or people who you put your love and trust into. This month is gonna be really a month for you to let yourself shine. You're gonna really be enjoying being out in nature because you know, the Nine of Pentacles is, sorry about that, that's a big truck driving by. <laughs> but the, the Nine of Pentacles is very much in tune with what you need and this is your energy so like you're really like setting goals for yourself it could be that you want to lose weight um or it could be just that you want to start adapting to a healthier lifestyle i do see exercise and i do feel like you're going to be outdoors more so i feel like that's going to give you more of a chance to take the initiative to go for a walk or to go for a run and to take care of your body on the inside I feel like you're taking this month to really self-reflect and time to take care of yourself. And it's really good because you're 
you're hiring your energy level, so you're de you're bringing in good things into your life. And it's interesting because I also pulled some cards here for you as well. And I, I do have the break free card. And it's like try different ventures and experience as a way to grow and learn. So I see you finding ways to break free, just like the dolphin here. And just going on excursions, going on little trips, doing things for yourself to bring happiness into your life. And I feel like this is a really good time for you. It's the summer, it's, it's warm, at least in the Northern Hemisphere here. Um, I know there are some viewers that sometimes are in the Southern Hemisphere, but for most of you, my watchers are usually in this, this hemisphere and you're going to be taking advantage of the sun and the time that you can spend outdoors to really nurture yourself. And it's, it's almost like self-love, focusing on yourself more, um, bettering yourself. And it's also putting yourself out there for some of you singles. Um, I feel like you're going to be putting yourself out into the world to say yes I'm single and I'm available so I feel like you're in that that frame of mind right now where you're kind of ready to get yourself out there and and date and I see that happening too and it's good but um there's just a word of warning here don't date just to date find people that bring value to your life and um, don't look to exterior like reasons why you're interested in someone, not just for their looks or not just for um, material reasons. Look within people and try to get to know people on like more of an, a soul level. And I feel like this month, Cancer, you are finally coming to understand that it's a lot more than just attraction and it's a lot more than than being in someone's life and like just spending time with them you're learning to see the depth of love and what it, and what is important and what is not um this is a really good month for cancer of course it's your birthday and and i do see you you having fun and celebrating with friends I feel like you're going to be surrounded by people that you care and love about that do treat you well because you do have the loyal, it's like the dog, the loyal dog. And you are also very loyal to people. And that's one thing with cancers. You are extremely loyal to family and the people who you love. And I feel like sometimes you hold on to that really, really tightly and it's hard to let go and sometimes let people be who they are and and to not feel like you're always having to hold on to every single person and, and remain close with them. I know you have an emotional attachment to the people that you love and I know cancers definitely latch on and, and feel like there's a need to keep the togetherness and the unity and family and friendships. Um, but sometimes you need to let things go their way. I mean, there's sometimes there's forks in the path where you need to go a different direction. And I think you need to allow yourself to open up to that. And you're finally understanding that not everybody has good intentions. And um, the reason why I say this is because we have the justice card here reversed. And, and that's just, you know, feeling like you're not getting people to give you what you're looking for from them. Either it be their time or their their love and you just feel slighted. You feel like nobody get nobody cares about me. And I I feel that energy and there are some negative energies around you as well. Of people who that do take advantage of you. And I see that here with the strength card. Um you do have some strong friendships, but with that, we have La Nemica, which is the enemy, or she's the, you know, the two-faced person. And I feel like even though you do have a lot of strength in your relationships, just to be careful of the people that don't really mean well and the people who are not bringing value into your life. 
I know you like to hold on to people because you feel connected to them, but sometimes you need to let some relationships just, you know, distance yourself a little bit. Doesn't mean that you have to stop being friends with this person. I feel like it's just you need to set more boundaries to protect yourself because sometimes you do get burned and you, you get easily injured. You're very sensitive. Can cancers are super, super, super sensitive. And you have, you're the crab with that protective shell and, you know, but what's inside is super soft. And if it was exposed to the elements, it would be disastrous. So for, for you, you have to keep that armor on you and you have to protect yourselves, um, especially from the people that don't mean well, the people that don't want to you know, they, they want to do you harm or they want to see you fail. So just be mindful of that. Just be mindful of the people around you. Use your intuition to guide you to see people who do have good intentions and people who don't have good intentions. And I do feel like you're going to start to understand that. You're going to start to see who the real people are in your life and the real true friends and people who do truly love you. And this can also mean family too. Um, we do have here the, the eight of swords and that's reversed. And that's just really focusing on like super anxiety. Like you're really worried about something here. And the reason, and I, and I had to pull more cards in order to clarify this because I just felt that there was, I, I needed to understand this more and understand why you are feeling this way. I mean, because we do have Emmanuel here and that means also like, it could mean engagement. It could mean fate. It just means things that are coming to you that are supposed to happen and you're you're not feeling good about it it's just that you're feeling like sometimes this is this is something that's gonna hurt you so you're really going into panic mode and and I pulled out some clarifiers here and I got the two of swords reversed and I got the disparato per jealousia which means somebody or having this some jealousy around you and and I feel like you're being forced to make decisions that you don't want to make. And it might be because of people that you need to cut out of your life. And I, I feel like that is really what this is about. And I don't feel like you want to do it. It's like you're being forced to cut people out of your life. Um, and it's because these people are jealous of you and it's because they're not bringing anything good into your life and they're only bringing drama and upset and, and just making you feel bad. I don't know. It's just, and, and I see that here too. And if you have the lovers reversed with the delirante, which is the um, lovers reversed is when you're really like having like really hard time, like failed relationships. Like it, it's might be romantic, but the lovers reversed could also mean like, you know, strong friendships or strong like family connections that you have like just need to it's like the relationship is just not growing if anything it's it's making your life actually less having like less quality to it because of this and you know the, these this person or these people around you are just not treating you it's like almost like they're ma mocking you and making fun of you and that's why you have, um, it's like they're like the wise guys. They're like, you know, the delinquents, the juvenile delinquents, the people causing problems. And I feel like they're like singling you out and making you feel like you're less than and making you feel like it's, you know, that your, your friendship is not important to them. I don't know. It's just, it's really bad. I just feel like there needs to be some people that you need to really watch for. I do feel like there's somebody who's jealous and this energy here is somebody that's looking to, you know, talk about you behind your back. They're two-faced. I mean, they're definitely two-faced. You see that here. She's holding the mask in her hand. Um, they're two-faced. These people that can't be trusted. I mean, and I know you are very sensitive and to have something like this to happen to you in your life is, is very upsetting. Um, especially when you don't know who you can trust. Espe you know, when there are people that are in your 
close inner circle that you thought you could trust, but now you don't feel like you can. Um, but can't, you know, cancers, I know you guys just have to kind of do you. This is really telling you to get out there and let yourselves shine. You need to really be independent and, and do things that make you happy and, and find people in your life that do bring you value, people that do care about you. And, and you have to really let go of these people here that are bringing, you know, the drama into your life. And I have that here too with the break free card. I mean, it couldn't be said any clearer. And I feel like you need to branch out and meet new people, make some new connections. I mean, for love, I also have very soon. It says clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And yeah, it might not be happening right this moment, but there is good things coming and they're coming very soon. I, I do feel that. I do feel that cancer has been through a lot. You definitely have, but you are so good and so kind and you have so much to offer people. So, you know, stick to who you are and really, you know, protect yourselves. Put that barrier up, that shell, you know, that armor shell around you. Just keep it strong because there are people that don't mean well and it's not fair, but you just need to cut those people out. I feel like you're going to be almost forced to make these decisions. <sighs> well, I hope that resonated with you. Um, Please like, share, and subscribe, and thank you for tuning in for July 2019 for your reading for Cancer. Um, and definitely look forward to me next month, and I will have the readings for August. Um, have a very happy birthday. I hope you guys definitely get out there and let yourself shine and enjoy just being out in nature and being around people who bring you real love and real kindness and take care of you. I love you guys. Have a great month. Bye.